This is Michael Rohani College of Engineering and Technology, Palgrilam Kanya Kumari. So today we are seeing on the topic is uh, TBM Catability Assessment. The first one is the channel boring machine. So TBM are used to excavate channels where they are circular cross section. We can reuse the both through the hard rock or sand and it moves to anything in between. So the channel diameters can range from the few 15 meter the tunnel machine board machines are used to alternate the drilling and blasting methods so the tbm has the advantages of the not disturbing surrounding soil and producing a smooth channel well this significantly reduces the cost of the lining the channel and makes them suitable to use in belt of areas the key disadvantage is cost tbms are expensive to construct difficult to transport and require significant infrastructure Description The tunnel boring machine typically consists of one or two shield and trailing support mechanisms. At the front end of the shield, a rotating cutting wheel is located. Behind the cutting wheel, there is a chamber where, depending on the tire and the TBM, the excavated soil is either mixed with the slurry or left as is. The choice for the certain type of CBM depends on the soil condition system for the removal of the soil also so present. This is the full face TBM then hydraulic jack holding is TBM in place. So behind the chamber there is a set of hydraulic jacks supported by the inserted part of the channel which are used to a post of the TBM for one. The maximum extension TBM head is then raised against the channel walls and the TBM rear is dragged forward. Behind the shield, inside the finished part of the channel, several samples of the mechanisms which the part of the TBM can be found. Jet removal, server, slurry pipelines, if applicable, rooms, class rooms, canton rooms, the rails for the transport of the breakup segments. This is the cutter head, this is the cutter head picture, the tunnel boring of the cutter head and the training support mechanisms. At the front end of the cutter head and the rotating cutting wheel is located. Begin the cutting wheel, there is a back of system. So this cutting wheel, the wheel typically rotated the 4 to 10 rpm and the cutting the rock face into the shape or is waiting soil. So depending upon the type of the rock TBM, the back wheel fall into a conveyor belt system and to be carried out of the channel or to be mixed with the slurry and the pump back to the tunnel entrance. The rockers, the cutters from the 280 mm throughout for 83 mm diameters are available. The decks are available in the wide range of the materials, each materials and process type design for the specific geology and project economics requirements. And then finally, this is the pictures of the cutter headers and the cutter heads. Then cutter applications, the rock cutting heads of the channel boring machine is equipped with an array of the cutters. In hard rock conditions, the track cutters wear out quickly and can rapidly become damaged in the hot block stations. The runner phase, this mode of the cutting allows the ease of the every application of very high thrust and progressive cuttings in hard rock conditions. Such cutters are mounted on heavy capacity wheels. Types of cutters, these are the various cutters are used depends on the soil conditions following on the types of cutter used. Disc cutters, this is a simple disc processing, a weighting cutting edge which is a replaceable. Some designs incorporate single level or triple disc cutting configurations. So this principle of excavation, the disc is that of the creating a groove in the rock walls. Also applying a shearing force to break the remaining ridges of the rocks. So highly abrasive rocks may be difficult to discover and place you much lower into the compressive strength for the range of the application of the disc cutter. Thank you.